Hey guys, I wanted to tell you about a program called Video Shop, and it's a great tool for your iPhone or Android, but definitely iPhone. If you are in sales or business and you are wanting to use your phone to create videos, I recommend a, a Video Shop. It's about $25 a year. I've got it loaded in here, so you'll see in the upper left, it says Video Shop. I click on Video Shop, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a video and once I select it, I click on Done, and that imports it into Video Shop. Okay? So what this is is a video of me in the, um, in the woods doing my daily walk and recording something. So what I will do, first thing I will do is I will trim it. So down the lower, lower nav bar there, you'll see the scissors. And I'll click on the Trim button. And... There we go. Now I'm going to trim the front. So I just hold my finger over that front play bar, and I find that place right before I start talking. And then I trim the back. I'll find a place where I'm comfortable, where I'm. it's done. And then I'll click the check mark in the lower right, and that takes uh, into account the trim. So now I've got it. Never have that conversation with Never yourself. Never have that conversation Some with time yourself. Sometime late at night. Sometime late at night. Okay. So I've got that in there. Now, <clears throat> one thing I might want to do is I might want to put some B-roll in there. In other words, I want to impose some video over this. So I'm still listening to me, but I'm seeing something else on the screen. <clears throat> and so the way I will do that is I'll go in and I'll click down at the very lower right uh, where it says impose, not import. Import just puts it into the timeline. Impose means B-roll. And I'll click on impose. And that will then bring up my videos. I want to import a video. And so I'm going to find one here of my, uh, my granddaughter. There's one there of her walking. Now, this is a vertical video. I would not recommend doing a vertical video in a landscape video. But we can enlarge it by pinching out. Just put your finger on the screen and pinch out and uh, get it right. And so there you have it. So let's let that roll and see what that looks like here. And you'll see how it just it keeps me and my audio, but it's watching her maneuver. You ever have that conversation with yourself sometime late at night, maybe sitting on the corner of the bed as you drift off to sleep? Is this all there is? Am I really go? doing all of the right things? To go get that ball? I feel like I've been on a Groundhog Day routine. You see that the, the B-roll video doesn't match what I'm saying. I'm not talking about babies here. But you get the idea of how to import B-roll. Okay? So you can move that around. You can, you can uh, click on it with your finger, just touch it, and you can move it up and back in the timeline. Now, let's say I want to import another one. I want to, import, I want to impose it. I want a B-roll. And then I import a video. And let's find, I'll try to find a landscape video here of her. I think there's one of her sitting on the couch here and playing with her bottle. So I'm importing that. And you'll see it comes in right over the top. So you'll take your finger and just pinch out so that it, uh, you can resize it accordingly. And now you'll see that it's, um, you have to hit the check mark down on the lower right to make sure it gets implemented. And now you'll see what it looks like. Okay, Loneliness. So you can see she's the cutest thing in the world, of course. And that's how you impose. You can do as many of these as you want. Uh, they can be as long as you want. The idea in video is you're going to want to have something else there other than you just looking into the camera. It just helps the consumer get comfortable. Now, again, as I said, you see I'm moving that around. I'm just putting my finger on it. You can't see my finger. I'm just moving it up and back on the timeline to make sure that it fits correctly. It's in the right place. All right? So, now, let's suppose that we want to add something at the end. Let's pretend that we want to add a promotion of some kind. And so what you would do is you would record the promotion, and you'd go all the way to the end of the timeline, and you'd, you'd hit the plus down in the lower right. That's going to add a video. So you hit the plus. And now we're going to import because we want it to line up with the last thing I say. So we'll click on import, and we'll find a video here. I think there's one here that's like eight seconds that is a, uh, like a promotion of our... Uh, one of our programs that we're doing. There it is. I click on it, click done, and you'll see it pop right into the timeline. So here's how it sounds. See on the challenge. See on the challenge. Bye.
Now, what I would recommend you do is have one of these that you can use in all of your videos. It kind of gives the person some contact information, maybe a little bit about you if there's another website you want them to go to. So when you're done with that, then you go up to the upper right in the red, you'll see the share logo icon and you will share that and you'll export it right to your uh, photos library. It takes a couple minutes depending upon how long it is, but not very long. And now you've got yourself a video. And when this gets done, we'll show it to you. There we go. It's done. You hit OK. And you go to your videos. And there it is. Have that conversation with yourself. Have that conversation okay. with yourself. There you go. You can Getting scan it. through it and just to Getting make sure the cuts came in right. And now Maybe. you're ready to release it. Maybe. And there's the promo on the end. Again, that has to be a video. So you would find a, go to Canva or something and find that. So anyway, I hope that helps you. Bye.